guys, so I'm going to tell you we have hit it, the whole back pattern. I'm just backing myself up some flies here, just getting in the preparation mode for the season starting. Now, this wee one has always worked well for me in the middle dropper, both for the, the browns and the, and the rainbows. Dead easy to tie. Now, I'll not tie them on size 10, so it'll be a size 12, which this is Amazon B175, down to a size 14. Um, just going to use a brown thread, because some of them i just leave with the, the brown head and some of them I'll leave with the hot head. So this is just a uni thread 801 brown. I'm just going to catch our thread on at the eye of the hook. Just work our thread back. Just until you're past the point of the hook and remove your waist tag of thread. The tail, this is just red game. Cock haggle. Now you're only looking a, a small pinch fibers for the tail. There's broke, take that away. I just want the tail sort of way around about the length of the body, something like that. Just catch that in on top. Take three or four turns. Working back down the shank of the hook. Just come and square those off. The rib, just looking a small Opal Mirage tinsel or a pearl tinsel or even if you don't have Opal Mirage and you've got flash, you just use the mirror flash for the rib on this. I'm just going to work the thread forward here, tan on a rib. Cut ends of the haggle and bring our thread back again. Don't need to be too fussy with the body, it's going to be dubbed. So let's work our thread back down. Okay. The body. This is a, an old hers ear that I've had for a long time, but we're going to take it off the face of the her, not off the ear. And you're looking some guard hers mixed in with the, the under fur. Now you just take it off. Yeah, see the guard hers and stuff? Hopefully you can see this. There. I just blend it through the under fur. Right. If you're of a main to, you could just sit with your coffee grinder and pick all that off and then just blend it all and put it into a bag so that it's ready for you. Just double up to there. And then we're just going to work this up the body. Yeah, it's worked well for me this wee pattern in the, on the middle dropper. Size 12s. I've had a nice couple of fish on the size 14s, but most of the fish to be fair have been on the have been on the 12s. Now I'm just going to work the thread to the front here. The eye. Now, before I bring up my, my rib, because hobo Mirage tinsel isn't the most robust, I'm just going to take a wee drop of super glue and just wipe it. Just give it a lick onto the side that's going to contact the body. And then we're looking I don't know, three or four turns of the Opal Mirage, whatever you like. Follow it around with the thread, a couple of turns in front, trim away the waist. Now, I'm just going to come in here with my Velcro. I don't want to bring too much out, just want to bring some of the, the fur out. And then just slick it back, and see when that's wet, it looks great with the, the pearl rib, now, throat. Just back to our cock haggle fibers again. Just the same ones we use for the tail. Just going to offer this up. What's the length of the shank of the hook? Just how we check at that again. Just to there. Come around with the pinch and loop a couple of turns. Just how we check just to make sure it's in underneath where I want it. And then just come in and trim away the the waist ends and then we'll just tidy up the, the head of it now like I say tie some up just with a, a dark brown or a black head um, but we're gonna, I'm just going to show you the, the hot head so we're just going to whip finish off our uni thread dark brown turn that away 
and then I'm going to come in with this is just glow bright floss number two. Just work the glow bright up over the top of the brown tang thread, and then just come straight in and whip finish. Now you can knock these up in no time, guys. Just going to give this a nice few turn whip finish just to brighten the head up a bit. Knock these up in no time for your box. No time with these wee babies, and they are good. So, tie a few up and let me know how you get on. Now I'm just going to come in. This is just clear varnish on the on the head, right the whole way right round. At this point, best thing to do is to come in with a wee bit of waste wire. You'll see me doing this before over the last couple of years on the channel, and just clean out the eye. Always best to make sure you do that. There's nothing worse getting out in the boat and the eyes blocked up. So there you go, guys. It's dead simple. It's a, just a, a variation of the towel bag. And honestly, I've taken some nice, nice browns on that. Rainbows as well. But most of the places I fish would be for brown trout. So tie a few of those up. Let me know how you get on. Um, let me know if you're catching fish on it. If it's in maybe on the point or in the top dropper, whatever it is. And uh, I'll see you on the next one.